And whoa, whoa, Kuba, I see you. I see you. Okay. This is really interesting. This is this is good. This this feels like everything but the rain, okay? This really does feel like it. I really enjoy that art. With Ryukin, uh and Ishin and Ichigo's mother and how they man the origins with that eyes in the hollow and everything. In everything but the rain arc, it was really an an enjoyable arc. It was really good. I actually enjoyed that arc. Uh, this feels like that. You got Baz, Jugo, and the the origin of the Storm Raiders, and you know, Juha, young Juha, and and, and everything about that situation and being Soul Society and meeting young Yamamoto and the whole encounter with Juha Yamamoto and had the whole thing started with the Storm Raiders and Baz and the whole origin right now and their friendship. And the relationship with each other, and how at first, at first, Baz was better than Jugo, cause Jugo after five years couldn't form Reishi. Okay, yeah, he, he worked hard in other areas with archery and sword skills, but it's like Quincy's what like, was was beco becoming an urban legend, like. You know, it has been Quincy born in a hundred years. It's like they're becoming like an urban legend, like really rare. Okay, then you got Juha and his army going around villages and telling the people like, "Yo, Juha is starting a a army. Okay, a new army called the Sturmers, and he needs people to come join the army so they can base Soul Society." At first, Baz was like, "Yo, I'm going to kill Juha." Okay, that was his main focus: train, get strong, get close to Juha, and kill him. Okay, now once he heard about a new army, Juha's creating Sturmers and Bane Soul Society, his whole thought process, his whole goal changed. It shifted to, I want to, you know, defend uh, the Quincy's and, and fight for the Quincy's. And Jugo was like, what? Huh? Like, what? I thought you wanted, I, want, I thought you really wanted to kill Juha. Your main focus was Juha. Now you want to shift your focus to fighting for your people, fight, fight for Quincy's, defend your uh, your blood, the Quincy blood, all that stuff. And he wants to, he's really eager to invade Soul Society and kill those people like what happened to Juha, okay? He's having like test trials to see who's worthy to join the army, you know, and Baz, you know, was like, yo, I'm ready, take us, me and Jugo, we want to join the army, and the guy was like, what, what? like, like, the kid's like, yeah, yeah, okay, they have, it. and he's like, yo, you guys, he got the, like, the Quincy crossbows, like, yo, I fight you, if I beat you, I take your position, and he's like, yo, we having test runs, you can, watch you prepare and get ready, and, like, Baz be like, no, fuck that, man, like, if I beat you, I'm in, I don't have to do that chest try, okay, so, one of, of Juha's soldier, soldiers, was going to go heads up with Baz, but they fell. They were out to the pressure, and it was Juha, okay? And everybody's on their knees. Everybody on their knees. Baz, we try to, like, stand up, okay? And it's like Basby was better than Jugo. From what it was told from the chapters and where it was shown, like, Basby was better than, uh, than Jugo. He taught Jugo some things. He taught him. And he couldn't form Reishi and all that stuff, but he stood before Juha, the king, the almighty, the, ma the, the ma majesty. He stood, not being phased by the pressure that Juha was doing on everybody, even his own soldiers, everybody on the ground. Basby tries to stood up, and he was like, yo, I came here to look for my right-hand man. Basby was like, yo, that's me. I'm the right-hand man, okay? And he thought... He was going to be his right-hand man, but Jugo was standing without being phased. And, Ju and Juha was like, I found my other half. And people were talking about how, you know, Jugo talked about his uncle, and people were like, yo, Jugo, his uncle is Juha, something like that. Uh, but, you know, Jugo confirmed, like, yo, he hit, like, Juha killed his uncle, okay? And how people was like, oh, it's bad. He's from the, the like, what, old family household, something like that, from the old village. Uh, and, you know, people, people are speculating, like, Jugo's uncle is Juha or something like that. It would be interesting. I mean, Juha found his other half. I, I guess when he said that, he found a person who's potential, like, who has potential to take his place. Who has potential to be the next Juha, I guess, the next ruler of Quincy's or something like that. He was like, I found my other half because he saw great potential because... 
everybody else was on the ground. And Juga, Juga was standing tall, like without being phased. Okay, and Ju and Juga was like, "Yo, I find my, I found my other half." And Juga was like, "What the fuck? Like what? Like, cause Juga worked so hard in other areas, swords, swordsman skill, like swordsmanship and archer, archery. He couldn't form ratio after five. He, he was struggling. Okay, and you know, I'm liking this Quincy stuff. I'm so talking. This, this, yeah, it's Quincy. Qu yeah, let's get some Quincy love. I want this Kubo." Oh my god, like, I've been wanting this for fucking so long in these, like, Quincy shit, okay? Quincy versus Shingami is a whole thousand year blood war. Okay, Quincy, he said in interviews, Quincy's gonna play, play a big part in this arc, in the last arc of Bleach. Okay, let's show it. Okay, let's show some Quincy stuff. I want to see some more Quincy stuff. I'm really digging this. Okay, the whole Reishi, and it's like, yeah. Burning finger and all that stuff. Yeah, you're giving your powers to to other pe other Stone Raiders. Okay, but it's just, I want to see some Ryukin, some 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 pure blood Quincy shit. Okay, from Reishi, arrows, cross stuff that that Quincy's use. Okay, on some fucking Uriu shit. I want to see some Quincy stuff. No fucking add on fucking powers from your Majesty. No Quincy stuff. Okay, Quincy stuff. Okay, but. Enjoyed this chapter, really did. Uh, it was a good chapter. Uh, Bleach chapter 632. Hoo -hoo. Oh, I cannot wait to see the encounter of Juha and Yamamoto. Young Yamamoto, the first invasion of Soul Society. How Yamamoto and Juha met. Oh, my God, I can't wait for that. Okay, can't wait to how what Juha did to Jugo brainwash him, told him something, some secrets like Jugo. Was he, he felt distant, like he, like you know, like as a kid, you just see him just training, working, you know, you know, quiet, quiet, chill person, kept to himself. Okay, he wasn't like Basby, gung ho, you know, gunslinging, he's hot, he's like very calm and chill, keep to himself, very not too loud, had that, that just the straight calm face. Okay, and I just want to know what Ju, Juha did to Jugo to, to. To make Jugo go against his best friend, his only best friend, his true friend, Bass. But anyways, I see you guys later. I'm out, man. Yeah, you guys thoughts on that? You guys thoughts on the uh, Jugo and the uncle thing? He came out and said yeah, Juha did kill, did kill his uncle. Okay, but yeah, but yeah. Anyways, I'm out. I see you guys later.